It is my distinct pleasure to introduce our candidate for the honorary degree of Doctor of Fine Arts. Today we present this honor to Ms. Joanne Tafilis. I ask Ms. Tafilis to please come to the podium and for Trustee Day to assist in this ceremony. President Haynes, I present to you Ms. Joanne Tofilis, candidate for the Honorary Doctorate of Fine Arts. I would now like to read the citation from the Board of Trustees of the California State University. Joanne Tofilis has long been a passionate advocate for youth and has dedicated her life to unifying people through the language of the arts in a meaningful, fulfilling way. Ms. Tofilis spent most of her career as a United Nations Executive and is a former director of the Women of Sharichnia project in the former Yugoslavia. Her work took her to Bosnia in the mid-1990s, which proved to be a life-changing experience. During her time in Bosnia, Ms. Tafilis volunteered for a few hours several times a week, facilitating art lessons at a local orphanage. Working with 350 orphans from the war-torn country, she used the only material available, a 10-gallon can of white wall paint and bed sheets riddled with bullet holes to create canvases for the children to paint murals. That experience led to the creation of the Art Miles Mural Project, which works with schools throughout the world to help incorporate art into the curriculum. The Art Miles Mural Project has facilitated the completion of more than 5,000 murals painted by more than 500,000 participants from 125 countries. The project has grown to include a permanent space for the Muramid Mural Museum and Art Center in Oceanside. Ms. Tofilis has partnered with Cal State San Marcos on numerous projects since 2002, uh, since 2012. She has been a speaker for the university's arts and lecture series and led a project for students after the Sandy Hook tragedy to create 14 murals that were displayed in the Connecticut Capitol building. She has also facilitated mural paintings for many university events including Discover CSUSM Day and Voices for Hope Suicide Prevention Week. Most recently, Ms. Tafilis has served as a mentor for Cal State San Marcos' Tukwit Leadership Circle to facilitate art projects at local nonprofit Mountain Shadows Outreach Services. In recognition of her outstanding accomplishments and her dedication to promoting peace through art, the Board of Trustees of the California State University and California State University San Marcos are proud to confer upon Joanne Tofilis the honorary degree of Doctor of Fine Arts. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University and California State University San Marcos, I confer upon Ms. Joanne Tofilis the honorary degree of Doctor of Fine Arts with the privileges and responsibilities it brings. Congratulations, Dr. Tofilis. دوستان به برنامه مامتاک مادر و کودک خوش آمدید. برنامه مامتاک هدفش بر این هستش که از آنانی که در راه صلح یا پرورش صلح و یا آموزش و پرورش صلح در دنیا فعالیت میکنن و تلاش میکنن اون افراد رو بهشون صدای بیشتری بدیم، توجه بیشتری بکنیم و برنامه ای در رابطه با یک گفتگوی خودمانی و گفتگوی مادرانه به قول معروف مام تاک با این اساتید و یا محبوبین و عزیزانی که در راه صلح فعالیت می کنند داشته باشیم. امروز با افتخار و غرور بسیار از دوستان قدیمی من که در این مسیر پیس لرنینگ ایشون رو می شناختم با کارهایشون آشنا بودم و از کنار بسیار بسیار دوست می داشتم در مواردی که ایشون قدم بر می داشت در 
هر کجا اگر اینجا در لس آنجلس بود اگر در بین الملل بود اگر در به صلاح اون سازمان ملل بود و یا کشورهایی که درش جنگ هستن ایشون قدم برداشتن و فعالیت خودشون را در رابطه با هنر و پیوند هنر با سازندگی و پرورش و آموزش صلح در این به صلاح میورال های بسیار زیبایی که تولید می کنن در کامیونیتی این کار رو انجام دادن دکتر جوان توفیلس it's a pleasure to have you on Mom Talk welcome thank you it's wonderful honor to be on your show and to be able to communicate with this beautiful culture Thank you. Um, so congratulations. We just watched the opening and uh, the exchange uh, you had in receiving your honorary doctorate degree in uh, fine arts and uh, a recognition of your tremendous work and contribution to the field of arts and peace learning and bringing more peace into this world. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, This is my life's work now um, for the last 22 years. And since my husband passed away um, eight months ago, uh, it's overwhelming, but it's also helping me get through this grieving mm -hmm. period because I'm, I take time to grieve, but I also am so busy mm -hmm. doing what he and I both started out to do that it's all worth the effort. Yeah, Fouad, Fouad uh, he was such a special uh, man and human being, so kind, so warm-hearted. And I always um, remember him as the compassion he shared, especially for empowering women and encouraging women in uh, you know, doing peace learning or leadership or whatever activity that brought better uh, well-being into our communities. I remember uh, his... Uh, just kindness and compassion and just really warm heartedness. So uh, he's here with us in spirit, as um, you know. And so it's an honor to have uh, you and your life story on shared on Mom Talk and our audience. Well, thank you. Um, it's the legacy of our project that we hope will leave an impact on our future leaders, mm -hmm. um, meaning our youth. Mm -hmm. I mean, as late as today, with the, the news of the Manchester disaster, one of the things that we do regularly, unfortunately, is to create murals that are, we call them healing messages, where we get the community together and we paint murals that express our, our own grief and our own support of understanding what people are going through, whether it be a school shooting or a terrorist attack or just any kind of human or natural tragedy, including fires, hurricanes, tsunamis, floods, um, every, everything like that. Mm -hmm. We found that by doing murals, it gives not only the people who paint the murals an opportunity to express themselves, but it gives comfort to those who receive them. And we also do murals, um, not just in response to the natural and human disasters. It used to be one or two of those a year, and now it's almost weekly, it's horrible. But we do them as an education and cultural exchange. Uh, for instance, we have a, a program with the Japan Art Mile, because we have different um, partners in different countries. And they do one mural between two countries uh, by connecting on the internet with the school children. And it's a three month bona fide um, curriculum that's approved by the government of Japan. And our state department has also uh, participated in that. Um, we, we work with all ages, but for me, it's um, really important that we work with youth because now they can communicate with each other despite language differences, it doesn't matter what religion or what ethnicity they are, um, being able to exchange their visual uh, images has been a real joy. And they find out how much more they have in common than they have differences. As a woman, uh, right now behind me, you'll see some samples of 
work by women artists. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have a, a current exhibition of 50, over 50 women, and we're calling our bad as, asterisk, mm -hmm. women show, to show and illustrate women's um, opinions on the different social issues that involve their lives, everything from their own self-view to being a mother, to being a career woman, um, to aspiring to a new career, or, or being victims of domestic violence or whatever. We, we really have enjoyed having this show up for this month. Normally we have murals in here, but once a year, this is our second annual one. But we do have a women's mural. There are 12 miles of murals, 12 themes, mm -hmm. 440 murals per mile. And um, we take great pride in addressing most of the social issues that people face throughout the world. Um, I'm really proud of the fact that we did murals for, if you, if you recall, the BAM earthquake mm -hmm. when, I, when we were in Vienna, Austria, and we helped raise money. We have um, beautiful paintings from children in, uh, from BAM, BAM then, mm -hmm. and we exhibited and had a fundraiser and it helped, I hope, build the hospital that finally went up there. Mm -hmm. So I think we do a lot of good things, and by bringing people together, without the interference of the media and all the politics, just the hum humanity between us, mm -hmm. I think it does create peace. And that's one of the things that my husband and I have worked towards in our later years. And um, I intend to carry on until I can't do it anymore myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the integration of art, community, the intent of healing, peace, peace learning. It's something that you've um, really uh, followed for years. Like you said, it's your legacy, you and your husband's legacy. And I, I was fortunate enough to um, know you uh, in the early you know, 2000 uh, with um, uh, when Wilda Spalding had her uh, brain trust at UCLA. And I remember your uh, grit and your passion and just who you are as, as a uh, community leader. You know, it, it was very, very inspiring. It, it touched my heart certainly then and then throughout, um, you know, the collaboration we had at the Aquarium of the Pacific and uh, my own children were, you know, part of that uh, painting and creating that mural and you made it very uh, peaceful uh, you create opportunities for children to feel that you know their art or their uh, choice of colors or their work matters and that empowers them it is very healing it just like art therapy I think when we're able to just put our uh, mind and spirit and soul into uh, collaborating and I love it because just like a tapestry, it's interwoven. It's all connected. There is an interconnectedness in the process of the making of a mural. And you have led this uh, with such grace and beauty and compassion. And it's been a pleasure uh, witnessing it and knowing of your work. Uh, for, for those um, viewers who are watching now, our international community, who would like to join you or get involved with you and uh, be more um, informed of your work, how can they uh, connect with you? What's the best way? Well, they can go to either of our websites, theartmiles.org okay. or muridmuseum.com, mm -hmm. and we have a, a sign-up information sheet there. Um, it's very easy to join the project, uh, either as an individual, a group, an organization, uh, for in response to something that may have happened, uh, like I said earlier, a natural or human disaster, if the community feels compelled to express themselves. Um, I think it was mentioned in the uh, presentation at Cal State. Um, when Sandy Hook happened, so many people came out and we ended up doing 14 murals in one day uh, because everybody felt that. And I think what happened last night in the UK with mm -hmm. so many young people um, being killed um, that I think that we're probably gonna end up doing 
an, a mural today or tomorrow to make that happen. But again, the cultural diversity of what we do, I, I really feel that art, whether it be our murals, which we also do now, we have music and videos that are being created. It's got all kinds of arms and legs where the people who create the actual murals are creating other extensions of it with um, making a, a wonderful, powerful video stories or writing poetry about it or putting it to music. And with that, and sharing that um, between children and youth and other adults as well, in other countries, it really makes a difference. Um, people get to see, like I say, the, the commonalities versus the differences. And they don't have to believe all that uh, propaganda that's on television and radio all the time, because they're gonna be interfacing and interacting with people face to face and on the ground when they're actually painting. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just love the idea that our project has survived without any overhead funding. It's totally 100% volunteer. Now the museum, we have some wonderful, generous donor, Trident Communications, who is helping us with a little bit of the overhead cost to get us rolling. Mm -hmm. But other than that, all the materials, the, the paint, we, we find ways to get it donated, um, and uh, it's a testimonial to how much people feel about the importance of how art can communicate across the lines, you know. Mm -hmm. In fact, I did a TED Talk in Orange Coast, um, um, wonderful organization in Orange County, and it's called Painting Outside the Lines. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants to hear the story mm -hmm. of how this project started and where we're going, we have a Peace Paint Ambassador program where we help train other youth. Um, I'm really proud of the fact that we've had about nine, nine year olds so far that are now young women and young men that are in their 20s that have um, grown up with our mural project and then started projects of their own going into film direction and uh, running their own NGOs, raising money for refugees. Um, one of our most recent projects has been with Cal State University doing murals with refugees from Syria. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been a, a wonderful experience. We, we did one recently where the family told their story to the students and the students told their stories to me and I told it to an artist and the artist was able to um, design a mural that told the story like they wanted it told. They did not want people in the world to think that Syria was just a pile of rocks and rubble now. And uh, they also told about some of the atrocities that happened in there. There were five of them and the husband had been taken as prisoner and um, they got to back together in a year later in a refugee camp and then have now come to the States. So it's a very compelling story. And if you can do that in a mural so people understand what's going on and they wanted their country represented, how they remembered it with the cultural um, things that, that they loved, like where they lived and the fountain in the middle and the picnics that they did with their neighbors and their families and um, just the beauty of the Arab culture. So I think we make a big impact on creating that piece and doing it with um, a medium that everybody understands. It's like music and dance and writing, any of that. We also work with developmentally disabled. We've done murals with blind people um, because everybody has that capacity to be able to paint. If you paint to music and you don't even know what you're painting, you just feel it and you're able to put that on the canvas, that's a, an expression that people who are blind feel. Mm -hmm. um, we have people who, yesterday we did a television interview with Zuli Sanguino, who has no arms or legs, and she paints. Mm -hmm. And she paints paintings and murals, and she was in the museum doing a, an interview and talking about how she has no limbs but no limits. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a testimonial, mm -hmm. plus the 22 years we've been doing this, that art works, art heals, art education using 
art is a medium. And when we paint it big, <laughs> it does have a little bit more of an impact. That's right. And it's uh, the interconnection. It's uh, the interwoven narrative of uh, the human suffering story. And I love that you um, lead this integration with such grace and wisdom. And um, uh, I'm going to take a few uh, moments to translate some of your wisdom now for our audience. Dostan با خانم دکتر جوان توفیله صحبت می کنیم. ایشون در بیست و چند سال گذشته در رابطه با هنر و کارهای نقاشی به خصوص نقاشی هایی که میرال و به صورت به صلاح بزرگتر و در سطح وسیعتر با چندین هنرمند که با هم در کنار هم قرار می گیرن و این میرال ها رو با هم دیگه کریت می کنن و به صلاح نقاشی می کنن این صحبتی که داریم میکنیم در این رابطه هستش که چگونه هنر رو و یا نقاشی رو میشه به عنوان یک وسیله ای که پرورش صلح و آموزش صلح رو درش گنجونده جلو ببریم استفاده بکنیم و ایشون تاکیدشون بر این هستش که در این دو دهه ای که فعالیت کردن هیچ لزوما نیاز به بودجه سنگین یا هزینه های بالا نبوده بلکه وقتی در کامیونیتی شما نیت و انتنتتون رو میذارین برای اینکه از طریق هنر آرامش و صلح بیشتری بیاریم و, و قصه دل و یا قصه زندگی مردم و به خصوص اون ام ام human suffering اون دردها و رنجهای انسانها و تمام به صلاح ما انسانها که بخشی از این زندگی ما هستش اون رو میتونیم به روی به صلاح کنوست و یا به روی این برد نقاشی بیاریم خیلی ترپیوتیک خیلی کمک و سازنده هستش کمک میکنه در رابطه با شناخت فرد از خودش و یا عنوان کردن قصه زندگیش و سهیم بودنش در این مسیر با دیگرانی که این کار رو با او میکنن و او به این عقیده داره که اگر ما در کامینتیامون بتونیم یک همچین سازماندهی یک همچین گروه هایی رو تشکیل بدیم که از طریق نقاشی های جمعی نه تنها فردی بلکه جمعی این تکید روی جمعی بودن این هستش چرا به خاطر اینکه وقتی جمعی این کار صورت میگیره یک قصه یک به صلاح در دو دل جمعی ما هستش قومی ما هستش و در اون چارچوب هستش که شاید اون هیلینگ امپکت و یا اون از اون طریقی که قرار التیام بده ما را یا پرورش بده اون صلح و آرامش درون و بیرون شاید قدرت بیشتری داشته باشه So um, let's say viewers are watching uh, all the way from Iran and they're inspired by your story and they like to um, start something like um, uh, like your your you know art um, um, the murals and the art miles project uh, are there guidelines or uh, recommendations suggestions do you mentor these individuals uh, yes we do and we have a, a high to a how to if they contact me through the website i would love to be able to communicate with anyone in, in iran it's one of my favorite countries and uh it, we even though we do some spontaneous ones, having an, an artist around is always helpful to help with the design, but we do have a step-by-step -step how to, and then it's very basic because all, each mural takes on a life of its own. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, it would be really easy to get involved. <laughs> Wonderful. I know um, in getting to 50-50, the uh, women's movement um, and the ripple effect, we've started some conversations uh, across nations, and especially from the Middle East and Iran. And I know many women uh, who've contacted us and reached out to us in joining uh, this movement have shown interest of how to incorporate other forms of media, like, like 
you know, your, your type of work and uh, bringing, making it a multimedia experience for mm -hmm. themselves as well as uh, the audience. And so that would be uh, wonderful to connect all the uh, groups and women who are uh, really focused on uh, intentionally bringing more peace or doing this type of peace learning work for, for their communities. Correct. And we are all about building bridges, not walls, mm -hmm. and uh, painting outside the lines and being free to express yourself. Uh, we call the uh, synopsis of our project is like a visual documentation of modern history mm -hmm. by the people for the people from everywhere in the world, from villages to big cities. Uh, we're, we're very happy that we have that ability in our women's uh, marches that have happened here in this country. We, we were lucky to be able to create some murals that were carried throughout the marches to express our concerns, as we will with other issues that are coming up these days. Yes, yes. Um, th there is a video clip, a YouTube clip of your um, uh, work. Um, I, I believe it's uh, the title is, um, let me just pull it up so I can read the title. Uh, Women, the Power of Murals and the Art Miles uh, Project, Mural Project. Right. And uh, it's a beautiful piece. If, if it's ready, um, we, we like to show it, and then we'll come back and continue our conversation with Dr. Joanne Tofilis. Stay with us.
Women paint for peace. زنان برای صلح نقاشی میکنن نقاشی های دیواری مورالز نقاشی دیواری نقاشی جمعی صحبت امروز ما هستش با خانم دکتر جوان توفیلس که ایشون پیش کسفت و یکی از کسانی هستند که در چند دهه گذشته زندگی خودشون رو و به صلاح اون میشنی که دارن اون تمرکز کارشون رو روی این نقاشی های دیواری و آوردن به صلاح انسان ها در تمام نقاط مختلف دنیا بین الملل در کنار هم و قصه گویی و نقاشی کردن با هم جمعی و اینکه چگونه از طریق نقاشی التیام درد و آوردن کاهش کاهش در سافرینگ و یا رنج و به صلاح آسیب هایی که به مردم وارد میشه از طریق جنگ یا غیره Uh, Dr. Joanne Tofilis, a uh, pleasure to have you back with us. Uh, tell us about this, um, this women's project. Well, that was the, um, the last video that my husband produced before he passed. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm a bit emotional. Oh. <laughs> But um, <clears throat> it's all about girl power and women power and It seems to me, and I know my husband fully supported this, he gave up his career to help create this project and mm. facilitate it, that women and children are often the victims of so many tragedies. And he wanted to honor the strength of women and the talent and the fortitude and the tolerance and the fight that so many women on this earth have to carry forward. Um, you know, there's so much violence in the world and it's man-made created. I mean, mother nature is changing because of the environmental issues that we all have impact on. And we can, we can probably do something, actually environmental mile is our most popular one, but women have a huge role to play and teaching their sons, teaching their husbands. Um, I was fortunate that my husband had a wonderful mother who taught him how to respect earth and humanity and women specifically. And so he took that very seriously. And that's why I thought that whole YouTube video was absolutely powerful because he had no training to put that together. But this is what's happening with the um the mural project um and women are getting more um technology savvy mm -hmm. so they're able to create these young women especially and the i mean if i can't do something on the computer i pick up the phone and call one of the high school or college <laughs> students or even my 12 year old you know, granddaughter mm -hmm. so yeah i think that the women's mile there's 440 murals in that mile we need more Strangely enough, it's the least populated because women are, and first I was wondering why we have so many women painting and there's so many issues. Then I realized many of the women are addressing the other issues, you know, mm -hmm. like the children's mile and environment, uh, you know, seniors, all these other social concerns. As I say, a lot of them match up with the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. Mm -hmm. And so, and the same thing with the human tragedies, you know, it's the women who just come piling in in groups or they hear about it and they, they, want, they want to get that, their own grief and feelings of consolation out there. So that's what that's all about. Mm -hmm. And as I say, it, it, I hadn't seen this in the, I haven't watched it in a little bit of time here. and. Seeing that brought up all that emotion because I remember how much and how passionate my husband was about supporting women. And there are a lot of men on the surf that do as well. We have great um, artists here all over the world that uh, understand and support the, the issues that confront all of us. But um, thank you for showing that. Video. Oh, thank you. I, I had to watch it so many times and each time uh, I tried meditating and being really mindful of 
um, just seeing the, the images and the messages um, of uh, the stories of these women and what they chose to focus on. And it was such a beautiful, a collective and interconnected, uh, interdependent piece of story and narrative that shared um, many voices of uh, grief, uh, suffering, but also voices of peace. And it, it was... Um, aspiring. It really uh, touched my heart and um, I'm so grateful. I have so much gratitude to Fouad and you and everything that you stand for. And I do see um, a relationship between uh, men who are warm-hearted and kind to women and men who uh, stand behind women and empower women and are uh, passionate and have a grit for encouraging women to uh, be healthy, to have a voice, to have well-being. I do see a pattern there with um, uh, just happiness, with well-being. And so uh, it, it, I, I am um, really uh, honored to know that you've lived such happy life with Fouad and that he is now uh, with you and with us in a different form, you know, oh. and it's... Uh, it's great. It's great to have his um, soul and how his soul has touched many through art, through his uh, relationships and uh, compassion uh, in joining today's Mom Talk. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Well, I hope that any woman, man, child that wants to paint a mural will contact us and. Um, We'll be even happy to send the material. Um, we don't let anything stop us. We have ways of getting things. There's mail, there's shipping, there's people who carry things. You know, we, I remember a teacher carrying a canvas all the way to Mongolia <laughs> <laughs> and sitting on the school steps thinking that the children were going to be showing up and she waited like six hours and nobody came and then all of a sudden they came trekking across the, the plains and uh, she was really happy as she threw that canvas out there and they painted it <laughs> and she was so pleased to send it to us. It was an absolutely beautiful vista of the whole country that they wanted to portray what their country looked like to, to people around the world. And I think that's a major part of mm -hmm. what, what this project um, enables people to do. It gives people the opportunity to share the culture. There's so many beautiful cultures that no war, no violence, no politicians are going to be able to crush. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the culture of Iran. Mm -hmm. Look at my husband's home, Egypt. You know, these cultures cannot be suffocated or squashed. Mm -hmm. And it's through the arts that these things are going to live forever. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can only hope and pray, whoever we pray to, that you know, we can maintain peace and facilitate it. And I'm very happy to share my opinion that because the young people are so much more well educated and world smart, and it has to do with exactly what you and I are doing right now with the TV and the internet, that in Skyping, that again, that communication link will help facilitate the peace that we need so badly in this world. Mm -hmm. in, in this country, in every country, people are rising up and speaking their minds. Mm -hmm. And through the arts, I mean, it's happened from cavemen to the famous Mexican masters who had political issues that they wanted to get out there. So yes, we are visual voices and we're gonna keep doing this until hopefully even after I'm gone because it's being done in so many countries without me having to be there or whatever. So it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. It certainly is, and um, it has a ripple effect. And so those of you viewers who are watching, Dustan, Azizan, agar dar rabte ba besalah aghaz ya shuru e sazman ya muassesi ya hatu muassesi darin 
نانپرافت یا انجیو یا مؤسسه هستش که دوست دارین از طریق کارهای خانم جوان تافیلس استفاده بکنین با ایشون در تماس باشین یا پروژه‌ای هستش که میخواین شروع بکنین من خودم فکر می‌کنم شاید برای نوروز یکی از کارهای بسیار زیبایی باشه که ما یک میرال ایشون رو دعوت بکنیم و یک به صلاح میرال با هم دیگه به عنوان یک به صلاح کامیونیتی و جامعه شاید اینجا شاید شما از ایران شاید از اروپا تمام عزیزانی که نوروز رو جشن میگیرن با هم یک کار مشترک بکنیم و صدای به صلاح اون صلح و نیاز, نیاز درونی که همه ما برای آوردن بیشتر صلح در خانواده و جامعه همون داریم رو یکی بکنیم یک وحدت سازندهی در این پروژه آرت مایلز و میرال پروژیکت با هم دیگه تجربه بکنیم So, Joanne, um, I'm just uh, wondering if uh, for uh, next Nowruz we are able to create a mural together and maybe start an international calling for all those who celebrate Nowruz to join in the creation of this mural that we can uh, perhaps um, integrate our voices of peace in this uh, mural and uh, describe Nowruz to Uh, those who uh, don't celebrate it, perhaps, uh, you know, it would be a nice a bridge in between um, communities and conversations. I love the idea. And, you know, Nowruz normally falls on the real Earth Day. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's <laughs> right. so people who don't even realize they're celebrating uh, Nowruz uh, will be able to learn something next year. Because if we do that, we mm -hmm. always exhibit a mural on that day with the peace bell ringing at the UN. Mm -hmm. So now you've created a wonderful inspirational milestone for me to create that No Ruth mural that we can actually exhibit on that special Earth Day at the UN. And I think that would be a really powerful message. I, I'm yeah. in. I'm in, Mom Talk, 100%. Um, Let's do it. Yes, and uh, this is a calling for all of you, viewers of Mom Talk, as well as um, uh, international, our global community, if you know um, groups and organizations and youth leaders, especially youth leaders, who are interested in joining this Nowruz mural project with the Art Miles project with Dr. Joanne Tofilis' uh, leadership. Uh, contact us, contact uh, Dr. Joanne um, or myself and we will uh, be joining in this celebration and uh, this production of uh, this beautiful uh, mural for Nowruz and this message of peace and peace learning. Thank you so much. Wonderful. So we have a few minutes uh, in closing. Any last minute uh, remarks? Uh, you have been such a trailblazer in this uh, peace learning leadership journey, and uh, it's been an honor to know you and to have you on Mom Talk today. Well, thank you. Um, you can look for our project, our Japan Art Mile is hosting a portion of the international Olympic Games in Tokyo on 2020. Wonderful. Uh, we'll be projecting our murals. By the way, the logistics of the murals, if people want to keep the murals, as long as they get us, send us back a high resolution photo, what we've been doing now is projecting murals onto buildings. Mm. If anybody wants any presentations that they can show mural samples of, They're on YouTube. There's tons of them. Fuwa did art miles one, two, three, and four. There's a total of uh, about 1,400 murals that are depicted on those. So you can see they're all totally different. Um, and that helps stimulate ideas as well. Although each one is totally different and unique and uh, heartfelt, passionate, and fun. And that mm -hmm. was Fuwa's legacy. He said, no matter what we do, we need to have fun. 
That's right. That's right. It, it, the warm-heartedness and the uh, fun and the peace learning makes it uh, a collective, joyful experience. And it comes from uh, the leadership that you bring to it, the consciousness that you bring to it. So thank you again for your presence. Thank you for your leadership. And thank you for joining us today on Mom Talk. Until next time, goodbye. Bye-bye.